famous opera house. And there is a little bridge that connects it, connects to the plaza there. Impressive design. Very interesting. As a glacier walking in the snow in a glacier, this could be inside the glacier. <coughs> Olaf Hur Eliasson from Iceland made this cladding of the wardrobes and the restrooms, calling it the other wall. And I think people that have been inside the glacier, they say it's very similar to that. Mm -hmm. So we, we say that it could be, a, could be a glacier. So, ladies and gentlemen, enough talking. I have a yeah. If you said what year it was finished, I missed it. I so. uh, it was opened in 2008. 2008. Okay. Eight years. And it took uh, five years to build it from scratch. Okay. And uh, four years there on the foundation stone. <coughs> so, it was a short and very successful building process, actually. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you ready for a walk? Yes. Yes. It's 40,000 40, square meters, this house. <laughs> and, but we are not going to take all of it. <laughs> we are going to stay on the ground floor. What did you say about that wall? The wall? Yeah. The wall is all oak. And it's oak from all over Europe, except in Norway. And it's oak from all over Europe, except in Norway. <laughs> and that represents earth, and this represents water. Oh, the marble? The marble. Uh, so the wall represents earth. Yes. Interesting. It does look like water. Look how it shines. Oak from all over Europe except Norway, representing earth. Look at all this. What do you see here? This is the stage area. One of the biggest you can experience in the world. Yeah. You can then move a little bit closer, of course. This is backstage. Any offers. Yeah. This is nice. Look at this. So, uh, but uh, what do we see here now? We see a revolving stage. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it, it normally has this home back there on the rear stage, but now it's moved here very easily. Taking all the lifts down, and then there's a free passage for that revolving stage coming in the performance area. And two big side stages. We are standing on one here, 240 square meters, fitting this stage, of course. Here we can be the whole scenery on a robot system, taking very easily to the stage. And from that side, we have a movable floor. We uh, take this lift a little bit down, and then we have a new floor covering this area with a whole act on it, with a whole uh, scenery. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we are so lucky that we can stand here today. We can look up here. I know. Wow. This is the fly tower. <laughs> 25 meters beyond the stage with 80 fly lines or lifts. Amongst many things that uh, hanging here, we have the ballet floor hanging in four pieces. You see these stripes up there? Yeah. Four of that is the ballet floor. Click together in 10 minutes when we are going to have oh a ballet performance. Wow. And then the dancers are dancing on the same floor here as they have in their studios. So it differs not anything physically to dance in the studios and dance on stage. Wow. It is a beautiful, cool. flexible floor. How long did it take to build? The yes. whole thing from five start years. to finish. Five years. That's not bad. Not bad. bad. No, yeah, not no, not bad. Very at efficient. All. It was. Wow. It was before schedule. Finished before schedule. Mm -hmm. 
and under budget. Wow. <laughs> under budget. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 oh, so, uh, and we have three stages in this area. We have uh, uh, the black box theater inside there, which we also use for our rehearsal room for, for the late for, uh, rehearsal before they come on stage. And in that direction, uh, you hit the piano. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the second house of ours with 400 seats and 200 seats inside there. Oh. And this stage, 1,400 seats outside, and we can play on all these arenas at the same time. Wow. Wow. Big sound insulating doors make it still be in the Wisconsin. This is so amazing. amazing. This is wood, mm. and it's so it, it newly painted. Yeah. It's so beautiful for me to see it. Nice Just wait a month. This is floating. How many, so how many uh, can be seated? In Shall we room? go to the stage and see the, see the auditorium from this point of view? Oh, yeah. From the artist's point of view. Yes. Wow. What is playing here now? Oh, oh, nothing. We have a vacation. Oh. Ah. Next <laughs> Are you a good singer? No. Are you going to give us a performance? Ballet dancer? <laughs> so, so. Dancing could be. <laughs> Everything you are looking at is just acoustic elements. Because this, the, the National Assembly decided that this hall should be a horseshoe shaped auditorium, a classical horseshoe shaped auditorium. And they decided for the acoustic style as well. They wanted it to be that acoustic, to be long, Nordic, and romantic. Mm -hmm. So wow. please, <laughs> make that acoustics. So uh, the acoustics and the architects worked very hard with this horseshoe shaped auditorium. Many digital models and one uh, uh, models and one physical one. And they achieved a reverberation time on 2.1 seconds. Wow. And that is the longest you find in any opera house Ooh. in the world. This uh, balancing this 2.1, uh, it's a turning point there because if it's longer, you can't hear the text. So you can hear the text very precisely and enjoy this rich, beautiful sound. So if any of you want to sing, you can have <laughs> opportunities. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes, please. No. <laughs> You want me to clear the house? <laughs> so, so here. Come on, Carmen. <laughs> um, the microphone is everything there. Everything you are looking at, we are not using a microphone, of course, in an opera house. That's cheating. So we don't do that. It's just a natural voice you hear. Wow. So to fill this auditorium, you have to be a very skilled opera singer, of course. But the acoustics are helping out with a. Uh, uh, all, the, all you are looking at is just the bowing, the beautiful lines, the seats you are sitting in is taking the same amount of sound. Is it packed or is it empty? It's the same acoustics. And it's the same acoustics all over the place. It's a very democratic acoustics. <laughs> <laughs> and even the big chandelier above you here. Aww. This is the big oh, chandelier. Wow. Away. But the chandelier. 50 square yeah. meters. Weighing 8.5 tons, 8,000 lead dice, 5,800 crystal elements. And the sound from the orchestra pit is hitting this and blending the sound from the orchestra with the stage and lifting it out to us. Oh. Yeah. The sound of the drill. <laughs> standing on the orchestra now. Yeah, this goes down. This right. is going down. It's very flexible. It can be a part of the, of the stage, as you see now, and it can be a part of the auditorium. So when we have concerts, other kinds of music that we are amplifying, we can have rock concerts, <laughs> popular concerts, jazz concerts, accordion concerts. Yes, you name it. Because this is a place where everybody shall meet their music once in a while uh, during the year. So, uh, in I that way, say, because that's new with the new house. Yeah, you that's new with the new house. Because you have had rock uh, concerts and uh, yeah. all kinds, but you didn't in the old theatre, did you? No, not that much. No. But here we have the op uh, opportunity to uh, amplify very, very well. Very good. So uh, that's it for everybody, not 
those people that are very into opera and ballet, they can, but they're going to be their house too, so they can have their rock concerts and yeah, you know. Excellent. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. then we can take the reverberation down here, yes. and then we can amplify the sound very easily. Big sound insulating uh, carpets, motorized carpets on every level, yeah. taking the sound down, so that we can amplify. Do you like it? Very much. And it's really, very impressive. When you are standing here, it's very intimate, don't you think? Yes. 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 I wish I had some talent. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> and when you are out in the auditorium, you can enjoy um, this on every seat. You have a text machine, a text display that. Um, Translating to Norwegian and to English, and oh eight of them. Oh, very nice. private oh and God. very uh, yeah. You wow. in front of you or above? Not that. Yeah, <laughs> but on this, on this, on, uh, on the seats. Oh, on the seats. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That is nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's a new uh, group waiting for coming. <laughs> no, going we on want stage. To stay here. You want to stay? <laughs> I'm just curious about the walls behind. So, depending on the opera, they, they, they get moving for the acoustic. No, we don't move anything for for, 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 for if the opera. It's like you see it now. Oh my God! I can't believe we are here. We have, um, not the orchestra, but we have music. Then. Okay. We can Up there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're ushers, so this is. Oh, no, really? Wow. <laughs> this must be an experience for you. <laughs> our, our performing arts uh, take a seat up to 1230 or 1300, mm -hmm. depending on how many seats they take up. And a big chorus on uh, 60 members, highly educated opera singers, that was so good. And we have ballet company 80 from all over the world, and many Norwegians too. And we have uh, our own soloists, it, not that many, but it's more on freelance contracts and, and uh, shorter contracts and uh, for the performance hired in. But, um, and we have a, a, a children chorus, 85, and the ballet school, 125. We use this, it's so many children work, working in the opera. Wow. We need them. It's uh, child work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The art orchestra is 101 musicians serving both opera and ballet full time. And they have Look at those to be an doors. artist in this house. It's so fa fabulous. You, you saw this uh, special ballet floor, and for the singers, the beautiful acoustics and. Uh, when you are going to be an orchestra musicians, you have a beautiful rehearsal room and 500 square meters with that adjusted acoustics. Approximately the same as they find in the orchestra pit. And many, many big uh, rehearsal rooms all over the place. So, shall is, we... Is, yeah? this is, is this the orchestra's home or obviously they go play concerts no, elsewhere or home. just here? This is their home. And they do their own concerts, of course, yeah. uh, once in a while. Okay. But uh, they use the, the main task is to um, uh, is to uh, serve opera and ballet. Mm. And they are really good. Uh, wonderful orchestra. <laughs> the finance. Yeah. 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 Shall we talk well, about that? I hope I can play. <laughs> uh, but uh, but uh, of course the the. the uh, Government uh, are paying for, for, the, for the costs, most of it. 75% uh, they are contributing and 25% from b ticket income and commercial uh, uh, things going on in the house that we can earn money on. But uh, I think we sh if we shall be realistic, it's about, um, oh, how can I say this in euros? Uh, 100 million euros a year, or 100, 100 million, million dollars, dollars now. a year. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. To uh, have this 
open goal. It's, it, it, it's, but uh, yeah, yeah. You, you do it together, and that is possible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are, you, are you coming with me then? Yes. <laughs> I don't care who it is. It's Oak in the auditorium. Yes, it's Oak in the auditorium too, uh -huh. and it's ammonia treated for the dark color. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Yes, that you are going to sit inside a cave yeah. close together. Uh -huh. And the uh, architects, they have many, many uh, fairy tales to tell through the house. And one of them, you saw the big uh, chandelier yeah. above there, they wanted to show us that. This could be an image of an old Norwegian cottage without windows, but on the whole light, 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 light and smoke. It did look like a sunlight. That's a very yeah. dear yeah. picture. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, wow. Uh, we are going to. Oh, sorry. And this is the rehearsal room. You know, it's, you see these uh, seats here, 200, and we can have them out. And then we can have a performance here. Oh, those are the seats. Oh my goodness. Interesting. With the cushions, right? Oh, with the cushion. I, I think they are folding, I guess. Are they folding? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Wow. So, look at these storage things. We are walking in what we call the Opera Highway. <laughs> and this uh, uh, corridor is dividing the building into two quite different buildings. This is the representative building we had just left, uh, which are going to be standing here very much unchanged uh, for many, many, many years. And we are crossing this line then and over in this house. This is called the factory with approximately 1,000 rooms that are providing for everything that is needed to launch an opera and ballet performance out here. So here all the work are going on, technically, administrative and artistic. So I'm go, um, I think we have the time to, if you want to walk a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Look at all the props. This is actually working the highway. <laughs> Someone is playing the piano down there. Not sure, not sure what's going on there. I know. That is weird. <laughs> All right, girl. The count. She's going to show us some costumes. Are making costumes and they are working with 20 to 30 productions a year. Oh. These people, so they are really busy inside. They, I hope, they're not back from vacation yet, so we can enjoy full. But um, they are making costumes in all kinds of, of styles, of course, from 15th century, 100th century up to our days, and they go, can go to H and M and and just uh, adjust uh, what they are finding there mm -hmm. to the performances, of course, mm -hmm. uh, if, uh, if the um, designers want, want that. But uh, they are, have both uh, ballet and opera yeah, costumes. Okay. So I suggest that we start uh, this uh, journey. Ballerina mm -hmm. Ali. Unfortunately, the custom place was not allowing video or cameras, but it was so interesting. Uh, the first, they're playing that part. Yeah. So, so it, it can be altered. Yeah, they, they can be altered. Amazing oh, it's costumes. It's possibilities inside. <laughs> it's very smart. He's saying ballerinas use over a hundred pair of shoes. But they're custom made.
four people. Oh, what the hell? Uh, military? Yes, we we, we met the last four people in Norway yeah. that are doing this. Uh-huh. But we are keeping these old uh, traits and, and professions, uh, keep them alive. That's very interesting and very important as well, I think. Mm-hmm. So we have wig makers in the house. I'm going to impress you. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have 13 wig makers in the house. Wow. 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 Human hair straws. Oh. 35 uh, um, uh, yeah. 35,000 yeah. human hair straws in a, in a week. Oh. And it takes about 14 days to make a wig. Wow. Yeah. So they are doing it all the time. <laughs> and this is like one example of the customs. Look at this. Wow. No, go ahead. Like a beach. <laughs> it is not like a beach. It, it is, is a beach. beach. <laughs> That's your beach. Wow. Open I should have gone swimming here. <laughs> yeah. The hotel did not have a swimming pool. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the Opera Beach. Yes. And what's this? Uh, did she say what the sculpture is called? Iceberg? Iceberg. So yeah, I thought it was a floating lady, no? Yeah. Like this yeah. 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 meant to be a lady. Ah. Yeah. Wow. The, the name of the art piece is uh, She Lies. Oh, so that's but, what uh, I thought. Uh, Monica Bondicini, the artist, Italian. She was inspired by a painting from 1800 of a glacier. Ah, but I've forgotten the name of the artist of that. That is good. What an artist of Okay. What is this? Yes, she's floating So she's anchored, but she turns. Yeah, from wave and wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. In the middle of Oslo. <laughs> so that's something. Mm-hmm. Look at the beautiful swans. So that's something. This is a private section, so I like I got locked in, <laughs> and thank God someone saw me. They're coming to open up for me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Beautiful restaurant. Look at this view. Very nice, and we are leaving. They are so sweet here. They opened up this door, the side door for me, so I wouldn't have to go all the way around again. Isn't that nice of them? Beautiful, beautiful visit. Very enjoyable and beautiful people.